Good morning. Thank you, Ada, for being part of our celebration, sharing your story and encouraging the newest member of the Kellogg Alumni Network to lead with conviction. I also want to thank the community of scholars, educators, professionals and partners who have been part of our graduate journeys. Today is no ordinary celebration. These are extraordinary times and you are extraordinary graduates. Today, we recognize and honor 1,042 graduates from our full-time MBA, evening and weekend MBA, MSMS, and doctoral programs. And at this moment, when you're about to leave Kellogg as students, you may be asking yourself, what does the world need from me? What kind of leader will I be? As many of you already heard me say many times, there are two qualities of Kellogg which distinguish it. First, Kellogg is a place of great creativity and an environment that spurs innovation and agility. Second, Kellogg has a deeply collaborative culture that fosters empathy. Creativity, empathy, agility, these are qualities that prepares you, prepare you for the world that will continue to change. My wish for you is to embrace change and challenges throughout the rest of your careers and the rest of your life. And so I'm so proud, so tremendously proud to have 1,042 Kellogg graduates entering the world. I feel these are the traits that the world needs today and that together, the graduates of 2020 will have such an amazing impact on it. Remember one thing, this is no time for incremental change. We look around us and we realizing that doing one step at a time has not brought us far enough. We need to start thinking outside the box. We need to redesign our future. We need not to accept the status quo if it is not good enough. You have finished your time at Kellogg during turbulent days, grappling with the global health pandemic and the reckoning with centuries of racial injustice. It strikes me as particularly poignant that today's celebration falls on Juneteenth, a day that is both uplifting and heavy with sadness as it commemorates the end of slavery in America. And as I read more about this holiday, I understood why this has taken on renewed force and meaning this year, because it reminds us of the challenges that we still face as so many institutions and individuals look at racial injustice through new year eyes. I know these last few months have shaken you. They have changed you. Let them change you for the best. Out of these past months, I hope your highest aspiration, your strongest resilience will be born. And it has been born. Sheltering in your places to stay safe, you discover that technology allowed you to remain connected no matter the distance and stretch you to do things you would not have done. This was no incremental change. You had to change things that had remained the same or changed only marginally for years. Did you ever imagine at the onslaught of the crisis that you would have adapted so quickly to a new and scary situation? Probably not. And yet, you did adapt it. And you didn't just adapt it, you thrive in it. And you became incredibly inventive. I watched in awe at all the new initiatives you created to keep alive the sense of community. Not to talk about all the dancing I have seen. You showed everybody that Kellogg students take their experience in their own hands. You acted and reinvented your life at Kellogg in a virtual world. So when in the future 
you will face obstacles that look insurmountable. Think back to this quarter. Think back to what you achieved. And don't let ever anybody tell you that you cannot change things. The power of a creative mind is unstoppable. You also saw a some in our community got sick, all thankfully recovered, but terrifying nonetheless. While doing your studies, you may have worried tremendously about your loved ones, especially parents and grandparents in faraway places. You dealt with stress, anxiety, sadness, and these two built your resilience. Through the most recent events of racial violence, you shared your anger and sadness with your friends, family, and classmates. You ex exchanged expressions and commitments of support and allyship. All throughout, your empathy showed strongly. So wherever you apply your skills and passion, each one of you will have an amazing impact. Think of what 1,042 Kelo graduates collectively will do to shape these times. Whether you want to focus on a more sustainable world or a more inclusive world, or whether you want to just create product or services to make everybody's daily life better, even if only in a light way, I know your focus will be on creating long-lasting values. After all, I believe you chose Kello because you sought something more, something more insightful, more meaningful, even if you didn't really know, knew at the time what it was. I believe you chose Kello not because of what you want to do, but who you want to be. And now Kello is part of you. It can never be separated from you. And while I believe you gain much from Kellogg, I know we have gained a lot from you. Our school is richer because of all the amazing students who pass through. All of us know how lucky we are to be here. And nobody can testify to that more than me. I've been here less than a year and I already feel changed. I understood how special Kellogg was, and I came here to move it forward. But now, I feel Kellogg moved me forward. Some months ago, I thought I would have come to this convocation and say, this is my first convocation with the MBA, MSMS, PhDs, and we have a special bond. But so much more happened, so I feel that bond will be so much deeper. We lived through this incredible time together. I received so many emails from you, and not the kind of emails an dean usually receives. So much more raw emotions, questions, uncertainties. Trying to answer your question made me reflect so much more about what did I want for Kellogg? What should we want for Kellogg? I felt I found my way through these recent months together with you. So let us celebrate together this incredible journey. Years from now, we will look back and we will remember all that happened while we were together. And we will recognize that this time had such an incredible impact on us, helped us aim higher, helped us not to be happy with incremental change. So your ties to one another will not dissolve when we conclude this celebration. They will not be severed when you walk, will walk across the stage in June 2021 convocation, because there will be a June 2021 convocation. The Kellogg alumni community awaits you. Together, we can keep pushing ahead. Remember, you represent Kellogg and our values. We trust you to make us proud. I wish you great success, meaningful career, and lives of great impact. On behalf of Kellogg and Northwestern University, congratulations.
I haven't finished. It is a Kellogg tradition. The students stand up and thank the people who have supported you along your journey, your lifelines, your biggest funds, your parents, spouses, partner, family and friends. But before you do that, I have a special message from them. 